new void champion from the upcoming clan pvp game mode siege hey folks here's a little bit of info about the brand new champion authoritarix lamasu which you'll be able to get as the final reward in the upcoming clan pvp game mode siege from the demon spawn faction we have a legendary support void Authoritarix Lamasu was a great champion for both PvE and PvP content. Having decreased attack debuff as part of her A1 and being able to place block buffs along with decreased speed debuffs on her A2 with no hit when targeting a boss, which means the buff will go through Poison Cloud, makes Lamasu a valuable addition to your Hydra team. Adding a True Fear debuff to control enemies, a single target A3 to support an ally by removing the debuffs, and placing Intercept to protect them from control debuffs, sheep included, and the ability to boost the turn meter and reset the cooldown for that very same ally in addition to a passive, unique skill, providing Authoritarix Lamasu the immunity to sheep debuff, and now you have a perfect match for the arena battles. Sprinkle that with the ability to destroy enemies' accuracy and resistance, and you'll get an overall amazing support champion that can help you in long-term fights, and will be a great addition to your roster. Raid. Shadow Legends. Yeah, so, um, she looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of Queen Eva. I do like the blue aura flames emanating from her tail, the tip of her tail, the sword, and her headset crown. But she definitely definitely looks like Queen Eva. That's who she reminds me of. Just based on her skill alone, her skills alone, uh, she looks pretty dope. AoE for the A1 with a books up to 70% chance to place decrease attack. With a 100% chance to place, not hit, it's not, a, it's not an attack, it's a placement, which means, like they said, goes through poison clouds. You don't weak hit. You can place block buffs, true fear, but if it's a boss, specifically in Hydra, because I can see us using her in Hydra, you're going to place a 100% block buffs and a decrease speed on them instead. This is an awesome move, books down to a 3 turn cooldown, Icon of Domination. Books down to four turns, removes all debuffs from a single ally except this champion, then places two intercept stacks on them. I am curious, does intercept work on champions that are about to get eaten? Is that is that a thing? Like if if uh, my Rotus is about to get eaten, and I place in Queen Eva or um, Authoritarix Lamasu, if uh, Lamasu places intercept, will that head choose a different Pokemon to to eat? Authority manifest for the passive. Champion is immune to sheep. Arena, awesome arena champion already. Each debuff placed by this champion decreases a target's turn meter by 5%, decreasing the res and accuracy by up to 100%, uh, up to 100 points. Increased speed, uh, ally speed in all battle, uh, fuck, and I can't talk. Increase ally speed in all battles by 24%. We have an awesome champion here. Off the rip, straight out the gate, off bat, no questions asked. Yes, I think she is an awesome champion. Is she a must-have? Yeah, she is a must-have. What are the people saying? Out of 434 people that voted, yeah, people are uh, people are feeling pretty good about her. I don't know why anybody would ever think that she's just average, below average, or useless. You're probably just trolling. 53 undecided, you're probably waiting to see what it's going to take to get her, which is totally fine. I totally understand where you guys are coming from. Here's a close-up on her face. Boom, check that out. Probably her uh, character arc. There's another zoom in on, uh, on her character. And the reason I'm showing you guys this right now is because I was having a little fun with AI. And I asked AI to make some pictures of her. So the thumbnail for this, for this uh, video is going to be this. I detailed as best as I could to an AI. I asked it to generate a picture, and this is what it came out with. I also asked it to come up with a few more, and this is some of what it came up with. Pretty cool, uh, except, you know, Lamasu is a chick. I, I think. I don't, you know, you know what, you, you guys know. Pretty cool. I got, like, two more here. 
kind of the same thing, same, same almost. Finally gave me some girl picture. It looks like a like a bird, which kind of makes sense. I mean, you got the feathers going on. It's just an interesting thing when it comes to AI. It's it's kind of a hit or miss. It's kind of sideways. Uh, I don't know how to turn it around. Yeah, it's kind of a hit or a miss. I think, you know, AI is not perfect, but still. So let's go ahead and dive in. Just off bat, I think this is going to be a must-have champion. I'm definitely, definitely going to be going for her. I am in a competitive clan, top 33 or 34 right now. I can't remember, but uh, worldwide, that is. So I have no qualms about it. I, I know for sure that I'm going to end up getting getting this champion with the clan that I'm in. My other clan, not so much. Nothing wrong with it. It's a, it's a chill clan. But for, for me, I'm definitely going to get this champion, and I'm excited for this champion. I think that even with my current setup for all my Hydra teams, like, I can do more than enough for Hydra to not worry about Hydra. But, and, you know, hear me out here, this champion could just straight up be fun. This could, this is just a fun champion. This will allow, and even for those who are not in the end game, who aren't like me or anybody else in my position, because there's you know a lot of people who are way above me, etc. That whole thing. Um, and I, I say this not to brag, but I say this to give you perspective in case you're new here, as to where my mindset is. I'm an end game player. My mindset is I've already conquered everything. There's not really much going for me in raid because it's just not really that fun anymore when there's nothing to do. But whenever they bring new champions like this, I think it's pretty fun. I think this is going to be a fun champion for me to play with, to try out in Arena. Definitely put out a guide for her, get a custom thumbnail thumbnail done for her, and try her out in Hydra for sure. I would be interested to see if she is able to boost my damage. Because to me, she's also kind of like Marius. Right? If you guys are going for Marius, you guys will uh, know what I'm talking about. This horse is... He fucks, bro. Marius the Gallant is... I mean, serious. <laughs> he just... He freaking wrecks Hydra. He wrecks anywhere he steps into. So I'm definitely going to be excited for a champion that's going to be fun. Just It's a game. You want to have fun, right? Other than that, uh, other people who are, uh, you know, newer game to late game, struggling with Hydra or struggling with Arena, you're going to want her to. The True Fears, the Intercept, I keep leaving the thing. Uh, decreased speed, well, it's not, uh, in Arena, you're going to be using block buffs, probably. I can see this hap happening, maybe situationally. But True Fears is going to be nice. Decreased attack, Intercept, being immune to sheep. The passive, decreased turn meter, decreasing res and accuracy, and the speed battle. Uh, aura is, is gonna in all battles is gonna be pretty pretty hype. Let's see what everybody else is saying. Looks really strong, but where is the god tier Hydra Hound that we all want? <laughs> because they keep alluding to it. People keep saying, oh, you know, it's it's good. This is champion coming with Packmaster. It's this whole thing going on. And everybody's like, hey, there's a dog coming. They said it in the description. And you know, half the community is is just like, oh, where's the dog at? Where, where my dogs at and the other half is just like don't don't bet on don't bet on a fusion based on what polarium says potentially potentially might happen and cases could be made and everything's is is 100 everything's 2020 in retrospect you guys already know my position on it but yeah this is, i just think it's funny to bring up the hound tillman ferret Feral Titty says it's going to be a void guaranteed or a really hard path, probably. 100 voids and 26 sacreds, bring it on. Polarium's mood, oh my sweet summer child, you thought 110 voids is going to cut it this time? Here's a semi-decent meme dog void Lego for 150 shards. This champion won't be summon summonable outside of special events. We might fuck up this dog's passive implementation because our code looks like spaghetti and the guy who knows shit fuck ton about the... Uh, um, from, sorry, who knows shit about fuck from the dev team is on vacation until the end of august yeah i'm gonna give that an upvote because that's probably right she's not a doggo when i first saw the demon spawn demon spawn new lego i thought oh could it be the new doggo i can't wait to achieve this you're already doing this obvious hy hydra champ looks like a good counter for armand in the right setup 
Hopefully they make her as accessible as Mithrala. True. Sheep immunity. She's nice. Won't be game changing. Sure, she's not going to be game changing. Not on the level of Armand's. Um, yeah. I could see that. She's a good champion. I'm pretty sure this game mode is going to be absolute garbage though. Probably. Yeah, we got to talk about that. I don't think this is a company capable of good PvP if they tried because PvP in raid means Krakens. And it's a breeding ground for Krakens. Pretty much everything they put out there has been horrendous. At heart, this is a PvE game. And when they try to push PvP, what they tend to push is wallet versus wallet. Glad some people enjoy that, but it isn't for most people. You got Mithrala by playing the content, even if you didn't win the PvP aspect. Hopefully, she'll be the same. Why the fuck didn't she give Fortis the if a boss treatment for the his feelings? It's <laughs> fucking funny. Uh, curse set, she'll be useful for Hydra. Yes, 100%. It finally happened. The first immune sheep champ. I think it's a lazy way to balance sheep. Why not just nerf it? Because Polarium. Create the problem. Sell the solution. Just like Resident Evil. Another Yumiko alternative for Trunda Hydra teams. True. Not even going to look at the champ or the, or the kit. Lock behind PVPs are lame. It's a good point. Player. Trunda is in Hydra as cancerous as fuck. Polarium. Yeah. Anyway... More mean to decrease cooldown for Trunda. Yeah. Good but useless for endgame since she's only good in Hydra and no good... Hi uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Best support in the game. Depends on what you mean by support. If what you're talking about is champions that do low damage, she looks fine for Hydra. Three good debuffs and a reset for Trunda might be the best. I don't know how many only have one... Only have A1 damage. Podrick and Cardiel both fit this. Both really strong Hydra champs. True. If you mean champs classified as support, as opposed to attack, HP, etc., there are definitely better ones. For example, Gizmak does irresistible HP burns, irresistible slow, increased crit... He's a mythical champion, though, right? Increased crit damage, blah, 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 blah. Mikage does increased attack, blah, 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 ally attack. By support, I mean uh, I meant a champion that brings both debuffs and buffs. AoE block buff is surprisingly rare. To top that off, it's going to be through Poison Cloud. It's going to be a placement with decreased attack, decreased speed, resetting your DPS. Is, she resets DPS? Also reduces... Wait, what? I missed that. I missed that. Where Where does she... What does it say she resets? Cooldowns. Does she re reset cooldowns? Oh, shit. I, I, I totally glazed the fuck over this. Call me a donut. Also fills the targets out. Okay, so let's read this again, because I didn't get it the first time. A lot of things go over my head. Her A3 removes all debuffs from a single ally. Isn't that like Nia? Except for this champion, and places intercept. So you place intercept, and then fills the target's turn or the target ally's turn meter by half. Then resets the cooldowns of all of their skills. Wow, that took it up. A whole nother notch. I didn't even realize that. Dude, do you realize the implications of this? It's basically what everybody's been saying, Trunda. <laughs> so yeah, Trunda's gonna fuck even more. Boozer says, I agree. Definitely impressive Hydra champion. Yes, definitely impressive. If you're open to any champions uh, that bring buff and debuff, this champion is not top 10. I already gave two that, that are better. I'm pretty sure there are more... Okay, so we, we're not going to count Mythicals because not everybody is going to have access to Mythicals. I'll probably get mythical, a Mythical champion in a year, maybe. Legendaries like Krisk and uh, Fyrol are better. Definition of best simply means the most common. Best is probably Ugo. Common meaning most accessible, I'm assuming. Easy to acquire. Does three useful debuffs. Plus cleanse and a heal. Yeah. Why is she getting must-have votes? All I see is a support build, not special in any way. Uh, just like your mom. What am I missing? Decrease attack, block buff, true fear, decrease speed, remove your remove debuffs on one champion. Don't forget the, uh, just like I did, you forgot the uh, reset and the turn meter boost. Passive, immune to sheep, and don't forget the, uh, what do you call it? The resistance and accuracy. No big deal. You missed the cooldown part. Thank you. The two most important debuffs in Hydra are speed and block buffs. True. Brings both AoE and affinity friendly. She's a void. Before even looking at the other two skills. Understand, I'll never see her in my team, so okay. So this is a guy who just wants to look down in the dirt and stay there. Another impossible to get for 99% of the player base. I'm not going to say 99% of the player base. I'll say 95%.
She's a permanent guaranteed, which makes her far more accessible than any other champion compared to Arbiter, uh, Lydia, Mithrala, or Quintus, for instance. Quintus? Yeah, Quintus is a is a hassle to get. Because in, up in Live Arena, you're just competing with a bunch of Krakens. So, yeah. 